Hello everyone and welcome to Deathmute Studio. In this knee-jerk spoiler-free review, I'm going to be talking about Love and Monsters, which is currently available on Netflix. Seven years after the monster apocalypse, Joe Dawson, played by Dylan O'Brien, along with the rest of humanity, have been living underground ever since giant creatures took control of the land. After reconnecting over the radio with his high school girlfriend Amy, played by Jessica Henwick, who is now 80 miles away at a coastal colony. Joel begins to fall for it again. As Joel realises that there's nothing left for him underground, he decides against all logic to venture out to Amy, despite all the dangerous monsters that stand in his way. Straight off the bat, I'm throwing it out there, I really enjoyed this film. First of all, its world building is second to none. It's common these days for a film to struggle with the balance of story and world building because studios are generally more interested in creating cinematic universes rather than telling a simple story. Love and Monsters lays down the basics of this with a well-written story and an engaging lead character. When you make these things the priority, the world building becomes in a lot of ways effortless. It's what so many blockbusters have gotten so wrong time and time again. Love and Monsters has a, has a rare confidence in itself, confidence in its characters and its themes of conquering fear and throwing caution to the wind and able to develop and to grow as an individual. Developing friendships you wouldn't have if you didn't take the brave step of putting yourself out there. The cast is great but special praise goes to Dylan O'Brien who I've only seen a handful of times but continues to impress me. Especially in this, he, he carries the film like a seasoned professional, growing from a sheltered and scared guy to a, to a confident leader. The film balances drama, comedy, scares, tension with this, with this nonchalant swagger, almost as if telling a story with compelling and relatable characters is easier than breathing. Love and Monsters is a quintessential coming of age story that that really wouldn't be out of place as a Disney Pixar production. It has a simple, almost old school storytelling quality to it. I think it's a, it's a brilliant film. And if you haven't watched it yet, then go, go now. If you have watched it, what do you think? Do you agree with my initial thoughts? Let me know on social media and the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Ta-da.